G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of checking our multiplication answers through this method of called casting out nines. It's a fairly simple method. Uh, I hope you like it. It's a really, really good one. And it's a very fast method for checking out multiplication, much faster than uh, <laughs> re-multiplying things out or something like this. Okay, so let's have a look how this works. So say we had 132 and we multiply this by 434. And we wanted to check the answer that we got, which was 57,288, was indeed most likely the right answer. So we do this as follows. We do this through this method called casting out nines. We were looking at this with addition uh, for an earlier video, and now we're looking at it for uh, this. And it's a fairly similar method. What this means is we're going to be adding our digits for each of our numbers here, but anywhere we see a nine, we can cast our numbers away, uh, cast that nine away. Okay, so what we do for this is we're reducing it to a single digit number. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Um, we have 4, none of these numbers here, our 434 add up to 9, so we're just going to add them together. 4 and 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11. But this is a double digit number, so we're going to reduce it to a single digit number by going 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do, because we're multiplying here, we're going to multiply our answers here. 6 times 2 is 12, and then we reduce this also. So 1 times 2, uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. So we're only multiplying this part here. Okay. Now, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, now we're going to be casting out any nines that we can do in here. So what it means by this is 7 and 2 add up to 9. So we can just chuck it away and ignore that. And all we're going to be doing is adding these numbers we have left here. So 5 and 8 is 13, plus 8 is 21. We reduce this down, 2 plus 1, which is 3. You're going to notice that these numbers here match. If they match, you can assume that the answer is correct. Again, this method does not provide 100% proof but it's, if you get a difference in these numbers, it means that you definitely have an error. So this means that we probably got the right answer here. And indeed, it is the right answer. Okay, so what about we give, uh, we have another go here. Say we do something like um, 36, and we multiply this by 313. Chum -chum and we get the answer of 11,268. Now, what casting out nines would mean is, first off, this 3 and 6 add up to 9, we're going to chuck it away. So this is going to be a 0. Okay? We're going to be multiplying this by a number. We're going to actually, you're going to realise that our answer here is going to be 0 because we're going to be multiplying a number by 0. But let's go through it anyway. 3 plus 1 plus 3 is 7. 0 times 7 is 0. I almost wrote 7 down. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Alright, okay. So we're going to have a look at our answer now and see if this matches up. So, uh, 1 and 8, well, they cancel each other out. Well, that adds up to 9, so we can throw that away. But also does 6 and 2 and 1 add up to 9. So we're left with nothing. Nothing and nothing match up together. So our answer is most likely correct. Okay, so let's have a look at one last example with this this great method of casting out nines and where it really comes into like where it's really great is when you get some question like this 14,600 oh man I can't write a number down 613 and I'll multiply this by say 6,130 and now I'm going to check my answer here which is 8 million actually 89,577,690. Wow. Let's check to see if we've got the right answer here. So let's use casting at nines. Now we could either re-multiply all that out. Wow, that would take a while, wouldn't it? We just cast out nines. Let's do that. Okay, so say we have six and three at the moment. They add up to nine. We can get rid of those. So we're left with one, four, and one, which is six. Okay, uh, we can cast out the 6 and the 3 because 8 up to 9, we're left with 1. So 6 times 1 
A6. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> now, on our answer here, we can now cast out nines here. We can get rid of that nine and that nine. Nice and easy, straight away. And I don't see any of these other numbers which are conveniently adding up to nine. Crikey. So let's just add them as we go. Eight and five is 13, plus seven is 20, plus seven is 27, plus six is 33. 33, so three plus three is six. These guys match. It's a good indication it's the right answer. And when I say it's a good indication, it's not necessarily the right answer. Because pretend, for example, instead of what I'd had, is this had been 09 and not 90. It would still add up to the same amount, wouldn't it? So it's only an indication that it is a correct answer. Okay? So just be aware of that. It's not 100% proof. It's a good 90% sort of proof answer. Okay? So anyway, that's the method of casting out nines. It's a great method for quickly uh, working out whether your multiplication is likely to be correct. Anyway, we're going to have a look at this in the next video uh, where we're going to be looking at applying this to division, especially long division. Okay. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.